I've heard of you. I'm glad you're here to help us out. This is a delicate matter, and we need all the help we can get from people we can trust. We've got a lot to do to prepare for the President's visit, and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? Ask your questions, but keep it short. We trust you, so you're free to have your weapons. Just don't do anything too crazy, and we'll back you up. Security detail consists of rangers stationed here at the dam. Some will keep an eye on the crowd while others will watch the perimeter. Snipers and sharpshooters have been assigned to key locations, and we also have a special canine unit sniffing out members of the crowd. I've also locked down access to critical locations such as the landing platform on the visitor center. All right, I'll give you full access. I have a full itinerary here. Here you go. The Legion will definitely try something. We don't have any solid leads yet. I'd almost expect something direct from them, but given the circumstances, there's a possibility of something more subtle, like sabotage. But since we don't have anything solid, we'll just have to keep our eyes out for anything out of the ordinary. Someone like you. I'm just glad to have you on board. Do whatever you can. Security sweeps, talk to people, keep an eye out. If there's nothing else, then let's get moving. Good. The President doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Get some rest. I'll brief you in the morning. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. The plan is to get through today without the shit hitting the fan. So I'll be overseeing the security team personally, and keeping in constant contact with people over the radio. It's a good bet that the Legion is gonna try something today, so we have to be prepared for anything. We'll do whatever it takes to get the President through this visit in one piece. President Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last-minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. But don't take too long. Feels good not to have to drag a Brahmin train across the Mojave. Hello. Hey, you haven't seen my friend around here, have you? His name is Ben, and he's an engineer. We were supposed to meet up so we can watch the president's speech together, but he hasn't shown up yet. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just keep waiting. Sorry to bother you. Still no luck finding my friend. He better show up soon. Hello. One of the ranger vets looked at me, and I just about surrendered. Nothing is going to happen to the president on my watch. You're clear to go on through.
I don't have time to talk right now. Hey, yo! He's coming to give a big fancy speech to all us troops stationed here at the dam. I'm pretty excited. He seems like such a nice guy, and I get to meet him. He's giving me a medal. I don't know why, though. I'm just doing my job like all the other guys. I'm still excited, though. Mama always told me not to talk to strangers. But you seem like a nice person. Mama left me on a farm when she went out prospecting. But when she never came back, the owner didn't want me around. Kicked me out on my own. A nice guy came up and asked me if I wanted to join the NCR, so I did. Now the troopers are my family. I like it here. Everyone is so nice. Bye-bye. You better get out of here. You better get out of here. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Move along. You better get out of here. Move along. Have you finished your security sweep? Looks like that's his vertebrate coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. Like our, our mighty Sierra Nevada, they, they endured. 
But the time came, came and they could no longer shoulder the burden alone. Twelve years, years ago, they called out for help, help. and the, the Republic heard them. them. Troopers, Troopers rangers, rangers, just, just like, like you, answered, answered the clarion call. call. Men and women stepped forward to say, I will carry the weight. And at Owens Lake, we made true on our promise, driving out the raider tribes to establish a lasting peace in the eastern Sierra Nevada. We carried the weight, and though we left behind many of our brothers and sisters on that battlefield, it did not break us. Ten, Ten years, years ago, Chief Elise met with, with representatives of the Desert, Desert Rangers, Rangers to discuss terms of what would become the Ranger Unification, Unification Treaty. The treaty was more than a resolution to welcome the Desert Rangers into the Republic. It was a covenant to protect Southern Nevada against Caesar's Legion and the tyranny of his regime. There are some back home who ask me, but who are we protecting? What does Nevada add to us? Sometimes, Sometimes we forget, forget that the light of our society shines beyond our borders. Sometimes, Sometimes we take those privileges for granted that our forebears fought so hard to achieve. We must we always remember that wherever California stands, we carry our principles with us. Equal respect. Representation and protection. You'd be keeping an eye on the suspicious. A bomb on the president's vertebrate. Only a limited number of people had access to the vertebrate. We have to get the president out of here now. I'll cancel the speech and have security search the area. We can't relax until we get the president out of here safely. This, this was, was the same, same fire, fire that burned in the heart of the old world that preceded us. Not now. We are we the heirs, heirs of that civilization. civilization. Torture eastward, eastward of the Pacific, Pacific. Into, into the darkness of this wasted, wasted land. land. I don't have time to talk right now. When the when Republic the called the men and women of California to carry that, that fire across, across the Mojave. Mojave. I'm out of here!
sure outstaying your welcome. survived his visit to Hoover Dam. Nice one. Now, moving on. Don't you love seeing the lucky 38 all lit up? Sign of things to come. Exciting news. The Legion's massing troops in a staging area east of the dam. Attack imminent. Monster of the East ready to roll. Sure. No problem so long as the Legion doesn't attack before you can get there, which I'm sure they won't. Are you ready to head for the dam? Caesar's Legion is due to attack at any moment. Great! So I've been looking over Mr. House's force projections and running some calculations. It turns out there are two ways we can win this thing. Hear that? We have options! We could route the dam's power output to the facility under Fortification Hill. That'll restart its reactor, just like you did with the Lucky 38. That'll wake up the Securitron army you left on standby and give us enough force to push the Legion and the NCR straight out of the Mojave. The other option is destroy the dam's generators. Without those, it's just a big bunch of concrete. The NCR won't have any reason to stick around. You don't have to decide yet. For now, all you have to do is take this override module and install it on the terminal in the power control room. Good luck. See you at the dam.
Over here. generators, or I could route the dam's entire power output to the fort. That'll activate a certain army of Securitrons and set them loose to ravage the Legion. What do you say? Yes! This is gonna be fun! I'm unlocking the East Power Plant. Hit the manual switch, then go topside and deal with the Legion and NCR. Away. True to Kaisar.
Our way. True to Kaisar. Who was this before me in the colors of the Legion? An envoy, dressed as an insult to all that carry out Kaisar's will. I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons proves greater. So you seek quarter? Terms of surrender? Our roads into NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. Save your speeches. We will take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. Hoover Dam has never seen the mass strength of the East. Only legates such as Graham, who deserved the fire Kaisar blessed him with. Now I am here, and make markers of your people as the Legion carves its way west. You speak in circles. What of the East? I am the East, and I will prove it this day. The victory here shall be swift. Our forces shall take the dam, secure it, then build a road west on the bodies of the NCR. The east will hold. Once across the Colorado, nothing to rival Hoover Dam remains. Vegas will fall. I count on no one. A plan by Vorpis. Treachery is a weapon that one should never rely on. I can only hope that the Ometas died when their treachery was exposed. To have the plan succeed only would have sullied the Legion. It does not matter. 
Victory shall be ours. It shall be swift, and it will be honest, purchased with blood. And how battles are lost when you bring nothing but words to a contest of strength. Your words have done nothing but delay the inevitable. Now, see what my hounds and my blade will bring to you. <laughs> I have seen little of true battle this day, and you were brave to come here to face me when all of NCR would not. I shall honor your last words and face you alone. No man will say I refused your challenge. Another kill to my name! Not even slowing it down! Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. And, um, well, <laughs> these, uh, these boys with you? <laughs> Hello there, Smiley. Guess it ain't no secret how you, uh, I say, can you ask them to put their weapons down? I was just reaching in my coat to give you a cigar. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland fuck talk to me like that. Who the hell do you think you are? Looking to cash your chips to the sound of NCR bullets, huh? I can oblige. Look, I know you're riding high right now, but let me tell you, you ain't pissing on me right now. You're pissing on the bear. You've been far enough west, I'm guessing, to know how far that claw stretches. Fuck with the bear and... You want me to make tracks out of here? Head back west? Tail between our legs? No. I came for a fight today. And if you're looking to make me budge, you better have a damn good left hook or I'm not going anywhere. Right now, that's all that's standing there. Well, except for the corpses. So that's your plan? Hold the dam here all by your lonesome?
they wouldn't. This has been a fuck of a day. Do you know what you're doing? Making a nation like you think you're doing ain't like chowing down on a pile of fancy lad snack cakes. Think you got the guts to carve out a frontier? Build towns, protect the roads, run supplies, train troops? <sighs> Hell. Can't believe we got suckered by some road jockey. Should have watched the flank while Caesar's best was making all that noise. I know what those robots of yours can do on a bad day, and I'm not eager to toss lies at them just to make a point. But if you're taking this place, you better hope you can hold it. I'll give my superiors my opinion, but I don't think they're going to listen. So if NCR comes at you, and it will, pray you're ready. I promise you, our situation's reversed, I'd see you hang. Fine. Come on, men. We're moving out. You did a super job wrapping things up, and I'm not just saying that because I have to. I didn't want to make a big deal about this until after we won, but, well, I found some code snippets in one of Mr. House's data banks that will let me, um, reprogram my personality to be a little more assertive basically. So that's what I'm going to be doing, and it's going to take me a while so it'll seem like I'm offline. But don't worry, everything will be okay. I've updated the Securitron's targeting parameters so they know what to do. Vegas will be protected. So that's where I'll be, off making a few changes. And I... I guess I'll see you around. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas' independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, part of the Securitron army was diverted to the Strip to keep order. Any chaos on the streets was ended, quickly. Chaos became uncertainty, then acceptance with minimal loss of life. New Vegas assumed its position as an independent power in the Mojave. Supporting the ideals of independence, the courier was recognized as the man responsible for a truly free New Vegas. He ensured Mr. House's tyranny was broken and neither Caesar's Legion nor NCR would ever gain control over New Vegas. Though some super mutants and Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utopatha, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Though the wasteland became anarchic after Hoover Dam, the Boomer's display of power dissuaded fortune seekers from attempting to penetrate Nellis. After the Courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients, struggling to provide even the most basic of services. With New Vegas' independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. Cass lived to see the Courier bring down three armies, and by her count, 
that was three more than she'd expected. She kept quiet about that, though. Thanks to the courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. The kings retained their control of Freeside, and while they continued to favor the needs of locals, they tolerated the citizens of the defeated NCR. After Ray's brain was transplanted into Rex's cybernetic body, it took Rex some time to adjust to the old scrapyard dog's memories. Eventually, Rex's mind settled peacefully, melding his own memories with that of long travels with old Lady Gibson. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. The NCR, battered by the loss of the dam, were unable to devote any troops to retaking the correctional facility from the Powder Gangers. As a result, Powder Ganger raids on caravans became an unfortunate fact of life in the Mojave for years to come. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 Powder Gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. After Hoover Dam, Sheriff Myers runs Prim with his own style of frontier justice. He deals with most folks fairly, but now and then someone winds up dead with little to no evidence against them. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes.